Bankelli, Bankelli Castle campsite. Um, this is uh, our first evening away with the van actually complete. Uh, really pleased so far with the van. It's the first time we've actually made a hook up to the mains electric. Uh, and the first time we've actually had uh, proper lights on the outside to illuminate under the awning and up the, uh, up the pop top. Van's looking good. Great journey here. I hope you enjoyed some of the, uh, some of the footage. It's really quite remarkable. Don't come to Wales very often, even though it's only on the doorstep and the, uh, the scenery is always stunning. Uh, tomorrow, we're hoping to trek up into the uh, Brecon Beacons. So we're gonna settle down for the night now, try and get a good night's sleep and up early tomorrow with fingers crossed. Morning. For good so it's, uh, it's day two here in Penkelly. Looks like there's rain coming, bit blowy, uh, but we're determined to head up into the Brecon Beacons today and then hopefully back in not long after lunchtime and have a, a bit of a relaxing afternoon. Uh, so I'll keep you filled in on the day as we go. peak of Bryn we're about half a mile out um, the weather's really set in it's pretty bloody wet time for a waterproof so this is it we're at the top of Penny Bryn in the Brecon Beacons the weather's pretty much as advertised it's cold a bit wet quite windy. Wind's probably around about 15 or 20 miles an hour. Um, we're feeling it more than that suggests though because we're sort of on the uh, on the windward side of the uh, of the mountain so very exposed. Certainly changed the waterproofs about halfway up when the rain came in. Just taking a bit of a break at the moment if anything the sky is brightening slightly although you can see that up behind is what's coming towards us so we're expecting uh, expecting to get even wetter. About 5k so far we've walked this morning, a little over. Um, don't know what we've climbed, but it's been up um, all the way. We're going to turn, maybe try and find a different pathway, but we're going to turn head back to the van. Uh, probably get back there hopefully for around about midday. Enjoy a hot drink and then possibly, possibly a hot lunch. Some fantastic views on the way up. Some sheep that look quite tame and run like hell when you get a bit close or, or make a noise. Um, treacherous underfoot, very wet, very squelchy, lots of loose slate primarily um, underfoot, so a bit bit slippery. Uh, it's going to make the uh, the downward journey downward journey interesting. All right, we'll see you at the bottom. Yes, she called me a cock. Very unfair.
it's, uh, it's Tuesday morning. The shop on the campsite here is closed. So for some provisions, we had to walk to the village, about two miles up the, up the canal and got some, uh, got some food. Not all of it healthy, <laughs> got some food, a couple of Welsh beers in the, uh, the local village shop there, Talibont, I think that was called. Fantastic walk along the canal, really scenic. Very different to the local canal to us, which is the Kennet and Avon Canal. This one was much quieter. We probably saw in that two or so miles, we probably saw about six people and perhaps two canal boats. In Wiltshire, it would have been five times, 10 times that number. Um, so very nice quiet walk and saw a fantastic house. A house that seemed to have its own bridge. <laughs> I don't know why I found that. I found that quite amusing. But the scenery as ever in Wales was stunning. Um, some remarkable contrasts of different, different trees going up a mountain. Um, obviously the Welsh, uh, Welsh buildings, some of them are absolute stunners. Today we're off to see a friend of ours in West Wales, in Pembrokeshire. Uh, Luana's hired a uh, cottage on the Pembrokeshire coast, right beside a beach. And we're off there now for a couple of nights. <laughs> Travelling from Penkelly campsite towards the Pembrokeshire coast, and we said if we saw a nice view, we'd uh, we'd stop to have a look at it and uh, and have a cuppa. So hopefully you'll agree this is a nice view, but we'll let you be the judge of that. West Wales uh, and the weather's not fantastic but the scenery is just lovely. Uh, we've met up with two friends of ours uh, in, um, in uh, a little cottage just outside Newport right smack bang on the coast about five paces to get to this. Uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy a little bit of footage from us walking and the plan tonight is certainly to have, uh, have a couple of drinks and relax and maybe we'll uh, we'll have a bonfire as well. But uh, enjoy this Welsh coast scenery. It's certainly stunning. It's Wednesday morning, but uh, a lovely trip out this morning to Solva, where we're walking on the uh, walking on the beach. The tide's out, so we're, we're able to uh, cross between cross between beaches. But the weather is stunning. We're uh, very lucky today. Um, and next up, we're going to head back to the head back to the cottage. Uh, I'm going to knock up some food for us for this evening. Uh, we're going to be doing fish, which I'll be cooking over cooking over a bonfire outside. But in the meantime, uh, I hope you enjoy the, uh, the views and the scenery here. There's really something special about the, uh, the Welsh, Welsh coast in beautiful sunshine.
we've driven from Penkelly to here to meet a friend of ours uh, who also recently um, had a van converted to a camper although she she went a uh, Volkswagen as opposed to our Ford you can see them uh, see both of them in the background I've got to have a look at Luana's uh, Luana's Volkswagen it's uh, a T6.1 280 miles on the clock fantastic condition and freshly converted in uh, by Bath campers um, and she picked it up only last week so she's super excited so it's Wednesday night, it's our last night here um, before we head back tomorrow. Uh, the girls have just gone out for a, a final walk, making the most of the weather. Left me with a, a very simple instruction, um, I'm cooking tea. Uh, I'm planning on doing a salmon fillet in a uh, onion, mushroom and garlic uh, sauce. I'm also gonna set, uh, set a fire going here, which I'm gonna cook the salmon on. Um, so I've got the, uh, got the wood and the, uh, the fire pit arranged um i've got to trim the wood down and i got i got a bit of stick the last time i did this because i used a lighter to light the fire whereas i think one or two people think i should have been using a, a flint and steel to um try to hone some bushcraft skills as i said then i'm very new to this um but i've taken that feedback on board so tonight i'll be trying to light a fire with a flint and steel um once the wood's all trimmed and you can uh, see whether i'm successful or not finished on, uh, on Wednesday evening we head we head back tomorrow uh, we're going to enjoy the uh, the benefits of the fire tidy up a little and be on the road first thing tomorrow morning so I hope you've enjoyed the uh, footage from the last uh, the last few days in, in Wales we've had a, a great time um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have uh, I'd love a, a like and a subscribe thank you very much see you soon